Welcome back. My name is KP, and if you're new here on this channel, I talk about letting go society's expectations for my life, whether it be following arbitrary timelines or chasing fake titles. I am letting fear and resistance lead me to the life beyond my wildest dreams, all while plotting my exit from corporate America and building my very first tech startup. So that sounds as fun to you as it does to me. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. There's so much more to come. Today, we're gonna talk about jealousy, which is something that throughout this spiritual journey, I thought I had left behind, but I'm human and we all have our moments, especially you know in the screen-centric world we live in, social media, reality TV, just everywhere everybody's stunting and it's easy to fall into that trap of she thinks she cute, he ain't pay for that, like he got that for free. Like it's, it's real easy to get petty. Our petty shadows and arrogant egos always have something to say and uh, I feel like I found a way to transmute that energy. Um, I'm trying to think of the last time this happened. So yes, I saw um, an old acquaintance of mine on social media stunting in designer fashions, on vacation, yada, yada, yada. And one of the captions was like, um, just talking about how they hadn't traveled in a year and they're looking forward to getting back on that and yada, yada. And I had a moment where I was just like, I mean, me and this person aren't energetically aligned, so that could be part of it as well. But I was just like, and I don't like that feeling. I don't like that energy. It brings me back to like my childhood, watching my sister and her friends be petty, talking about she conceded, da da. da. And I, I would like to leave that language, that mindset back in the 90s. Like, When's the last time you heard the word conceded being used? I feel like it's it's been decades and I wanna keep it that way. Um, but uh, I, when I realized that I was having this like low frequency response, I was like, no, we're not doing this. And the idea came to me just to say, how did you get there? For, I mean, the average person, I'm sure you could like, message in the comments like hey girl you haven't traveled in, traveled in a year how did you you know did you save up yada yada um but i just leaned into my spiritual gifts um and asked how, how did you get there how did you do that and the answers were surprising um i've been doing that more and more every time i see something that triggers me that triggers the insecure little girl, the um, just the, the outcast, the, the one who felt left behind, the one, the unpopular girl. Yes, that's who it is. The, the outcast in me, anytime she's triggered by some form of glamour, glamour or stunting or whatever it is, I just ask the question. And the answers are usually surprising. It's usually this person saved up, um, sacrificed. See, that's the part of the story we don't get on social media. All of the sacrificing people do to stunt. It's not ready-made. You don't just, you know, put your life in the microwave, pull it out, and eat your microwave dinner. Like, <laughs> there are steps to this. There are levels to this. And um, yeah, I felt like empowered in that moment. It gave me actionable steps. Not that I want this person's life or aspire to have what this person has, but the curious little girl in me, just like, how do I get there? And I got my answer, sacrificing, saving up, you know, how bad do you want it? And I was like, oh, so every time I see something that triggers me that, before I get to that pit of being side-eyeing and 
petty and resentful, I ask that question, how did you get there? All of the answers are not that cute. All of the answers are not wholesome. Some of those answers, people are out here struggling. People are out here selling their souls. Um, and it's, it's not worth it. Sometimes I'm just like, you know what? I'm good. I don't even want it. Like, if that's how you had to get that, nah, I'm good. Like, not even worth it. Um, and full disclosure, I've been digging into my natal chart over the last couple of weeks. And spiritual gifts are in every corner of my natal chart. Like, I've had certain gifts all my life. And within the last couple of years, they've been coming online and I've been cultivating them, nurturing them, learning how to work with them. That aside, like you don't need to be psychic to have access to your intuition. And at the very least, we all have that at the pit of our stomachs. We all have our guts. And I wouldn't have felt called to make this video if it weren't available to you as well. So the next time you see somebody on screen or in real life or whatever, and some part of you's triggered, um, or, or if you're, you know, inspired, just whatever, whatever you see that does not feel available to you, ask, how can you get there? How can you get it? Um, what can you do to achieve that? And the answer will come to you in different ways. It, it'll, it can be dropped right into your head. It can be dropped into your heart. Um, it can come to you via an advertisement, something that comes across your timeline. Like However messages normally get to you, it'll come to you in that way. Or it can come to you in a surprising way. We don't put limits on God here. So jealousy, jealousy just is a trigger, something for you to explore deeper. And half the time you'll realize you don't need, you didn't even want that thing, you, or at least you don't want it anymore, right? It's something that you wanted previously. You wanted, you know, in a past life, it's something that you feel like you deserve but is this something that you actually want? Is it something that's energetically aligned to who you are now? Is it something that's energetically aligned to who you want to be in the future? All of these questions. And that's an even better exercise if it's something that's energetically aligned to who you want to be in the future. Ask, how do you get there? And you can take side steps to get closer and closer to that timeline. So yeah, that's a little bit of manifestation magic. Transmuting jealousy, who knew? You can just ask <laughs> the universe how to get something that you perceive that you can't have and you know that person can turn into an inspiration from being like, you know, a trigger. So yeah, that's it from me today with love.